India is one of the largest democracies in the world. Middle class in India is growing, growing from 250 million today to over 600 million in the next decade. 90% of Indians have a dental disease, but 10% show up to see a dentist professional. The dynamics and the logistics of the Indian industry lend themselves to enormous growth. The quality of dental care in India is not at the quality matching the international centers. Globe is something that is evolving every day. You know, every single day you've got a new challenge. But at the end of the day, all of this is backed with a very strong ethical background. Every single one of our employees is required to sign our ethics policy. Read it, of course, but to sign it. The entire set of professionals at Clove are just exemplary and are passionate about Clove values. When I come in the morning, I always come with the motive that I'm going to make somebody smile. The experience at Clove is very unique and is not a typical medical office. They are welcomed not by a, a receptionist, but by a medical professional. So there's no miscommunication between. You are their first connect and you remain their last connect. It looks like a very nice place to sit and to chat, you know, a, a coffee shop because of all these posters, the movie and the novel posters that we can see here. The first clinic we opened, I happened to be in town the day it opened, 14 months later, and it still looked pristine. We have very stringent standard operating procedures for sterilization. We follow a four-way process. So practically, the instruments that we use on our patients are 100% free of all virus and bacteria. So we have eight different levels of training for our doctors. We hire the best, motivate them to perform the best, and give them all the tools necessary to excel at what they do. I have access to a lot of technology and modalities of procedures and uh, treatment that's out there. So I was able to help bring a lot of that experience to Clove. There is a lack in infrastructure, and the Clove project was an opportunity to fill that gap. It's also a venture that can have a very high uh, social impact. Clove, unlike any other dental chain, takes a great lead and a great part in various CSR activities. We are associated with many NGOs like the Happy School, where we conducted a school camp and performed the treatment for all the underprivileged children. By looking into the children who are just five or six years old, having a lot of cavities, it gives an impression that there's a lot of work need to be done in society, and I'm feeling proud that we are doing this. So in a market like this, the real USP where Clove stand about, they are not going to compromise on quality. And the second thing as a USP is the standardization that it brings. So you know that you're going to get the same level of service, the same level of standards, and the same level of processes no matter where you go. The doctors are so polite and so sweet to talk to. I tell Dr. Saloni several times that you don't need to have an anesthesia here. You know, the way you speak takes away all the pain. First of all, I got my tooth removed, and it was such a nice way, the way he removed. So I told my children, okay, I want to go to this place only next time. My mother was the first one who came here. Then uh, over a period of time, uh, we all got baptized to this place. And I foresee my younger son too coming in very soon. I have a kind of a relationship with Dr. Saloni, with which I can share my problem easily to her and I trust her for her treatment as well. If the patients are happy, then the dentist is always happy because we always want to bring a smile on the patient's face. Clove's vision is very simple. We want to be India's premier dental care provider across the country. Every region of India that you go to, even within a city, is a different country altogether. Not just in terms of size and scale, but also in terms of the sheer demographics of the country, in terms of the kind of people, in terms of the kind of ways in which you need to change your messaging altogether. 90% of our management attention has been actually getting the clinics on the ground and recruiting the good doctors. Now we've got to move more into operationalizing them, ensuring that they're profitable and that they're humble that they, they run smoothly, like every good business. By the end of the financial year, we're hoping to have between 90 to 100 clinics. WHO predicts that India needs about 2 million hospital beds for the next 10 years. That translates to about 8,000 dental clinics every year for the next 10 years. So the market opportunity in India is tremendous. There's no reason 
to believe that Clove won't be the biggest and the best company of its kind in India. <laughs>